Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to do a super quick video on how to put text on any object, and I mean literally on the object. And the way to do this is with deferred decals. And I gotta tell you that this worked so much better than I could have even imagined. So what I was looking for was in the game, there's situations where there needs to be identifiers on the doors. And I didn't want to do text render. I wanted to do something that looked a little more professional and part of the scene. And so I decided to use a deferred decal. And honestly, it worked better than I could ever imagine. Like, and so this is an example of one that just says door one, but it actually, because it projects on, it looks like it's a part of the object, like it's bound onto the object. So this absolutely is the way to go. And this has other application too. Like if we look at, uh, let's see, is it this room? If we look at signs like this, we can come in and do a deferred decal over something like this as well. So anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. This is real easy to do. The only thing is you do need to have a graphics program such as Photoshop or GIMP or something because you have to be able to create a PNG file. So I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, we're back. So as I mentioned, you do need Photoshop or some kind of graphics program. I just happen to be using an old version of Photoshop. I'm, I'm using it out of spite because I refuse to go onto the subscription service. So, <laughs> so this is Photoshop uh, CS6 actually, and it still works just fine. So anyway, this is what you do is in this is just, this is 512 by 512. You just get text, pop it on there, whatever you want. And in this case, I'll just, maybe I'll change the text on here to just say door two or something like that. Okay, and that's it. That's all you do. And then you just render it out. You go save as, and we can save this as a, it has to be a PNG file. And then we just go ahead and save that out. And that's all we gotta do. And then I'll just save it as, test as I'll just call it I don't want to get confused so I'll just call it sign two and just go okay and then we can jump into Unreal and here we've got our game let me minimize some of this I just need to grab that sign that I just did so it's right here and all literally all I have to do is drag it onto the scene and it's just kind of mind-boggling how how powerful this program is. I mean, it's, I can't even get my mind around it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and save all. Now that I drag that on, I'm going to save all. And then I'm just going to right click. And this is super easy to do. We just go material and we're just going to call this. And it does pay to do the naming conventions because you start getting so many of these, you're going to get confused about what's what if you don't put the prefix on there like M for material, MI for material instance and stuff like that. Sometimes I don't always do it because I, I just feel like it's getting pedantic. But anyway, I'm just going to call this sign two. And then we just double click into it like this. And this is just as easy as can be. I mean, we come in here on this and we're just going to get a texture sample. And that's what we created. Our file that we brought in is known as a texture. And then you can see we got this option over here and we can just search for our sign. It was sign two, I believe, right here. And there it's a sign. Of course, it's not doing anything correctly. There's just two settings that we need to set here and we have to come on the M material. And this isn't gonna be a surface, it's gonna be a deferred decal. I'm not sure why they call it deferred. I don't, I don't know, There's. I'm sure there's some reasoning for that. And then the blend mode is translucence, and that is for the object. And of course, we don't see anything yet. We're gonna have to apply and save, but then we have to plug this in. So you can go base color, and then you can go, we still don't see anything that looks normal yet. But once we put the alpha channel in, you'll notice that we can see door two. And then what you can do is there's different parameters you can try to include on your material instance if you find them helpful. I don't know that I, any of these really matter. I think the default is fine. So I'm not even going to add the option to swap out, you know, changes. But I don't know. You might have a change of heart or there might be a particular material. So what you should do is you hit S and click. Right, S and click. You can create a 
parameter which allows us to control instances of the material instance and we can just give this a name like what it is going to be plugging into so in this case I'm just going to do one specular but I was getting some interesting results by using metallic so metallic's not a bad one to do too so you can just control D this and then plug it in here into metallic I, did, I was not getting good results out of roughness so I wasn't even going to include that because it just wasn't doing anything that I thought was making things better. And then the last thing that you want to do is turn right click here and just convert this to a parameter which again makes it instance editable. So we'll just call this texture input or something like that. And that's all we have to do. It's that simple. It couldn't be any simpler. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this and close this. And now all we have to do to make this an instance is I just need to right click on it and go material instance. And remember the naming convention is mi underscore and I'm just going to call this sign2. And then once that's that, I can start dragging it onto the scene. So let's go back out here in the hallway. It just takes a second. Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll go to, I know actually door two is down here. I'm, actually, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it here. Okay, so anyway, I'll back up and I'll just drag this onto the scene. And you'll see it's projecting like a camera, right? So onto the floor, straight onto the floor. And that's by default it does that. So you just hit the space bar and we can tell we gotta come up this way 90 degrees. And then we got to go this way, 90 degrees. And there it is, projected onto the surface. But here's the thing that's so darn cool about this, is look how well it projects. But check it out. Look. <laughs> Literally looks like a part of the door. And it's even bleeding through in parts. So it's just, it's, fa it's a fantastic way to add signs to your scene. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I hope you have great success with Unreal. Bye.